long ago. A lone explorer named Arnie Sacknusson made a fantastic descent of the fabled lost kingdom of Atlantis at the Earth's core. After many centuries, his trail was discovered. First by me, Professor Oliver Lindenbrook, my niece Cindy, student Alec McEwen, our guide Lars, and his duck Gudrun. But we were not alone. The evil Count Sacknusson, last descendant of the once noble Sacknusson family, had followed us to claim the center of the Earth for his power mad schemes. He ordered his brute-like servant, Tor, to destroy our party. But the plan backfired, sealing the entrance forever. And so for us began a desperate race to the Earth's core to learn the secret of the way back. This is the story of our new journey to the center of the Earth. It's right into the volcano. Yes, I saw, Professor. It seems impossible. And yet we know that Count Sacknusson and Tord went ahead of us. Yeah, that's pretty good trick, all right. How'd they do it? Good question, Lars. <laughs> Let them follow that trail, if they dare. They'll never figure out what I've done. And now, on to the center of the Earth, and to my rightful possession, the wealth of Atlantis. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I see. What is it, Professor? You have an answer? See? The stones making up the trail to this point have been smooth. But now they're sharp like this. And that means? It means that Count Sacknusson and Torg have deliberately hidden the real trail and built this false one to stop us. <laughs> A fiendish device. But fortunately, we have the means to discover the genuine trail. This is a job for you, Gertrude. <laughs> This is the true trail into this cave. But since we no longer have to fear pursuit, uh, we can afford to explore a bit. <laughs> Come on, Gertrude, you can do it. Girl, Gertrude, you found the hidden trail. Hmm. Volcanic composition. Means we can expect fireworks. Crazy! Not even July of 4th! Look, initials. And a map. That can mean only one man. Arnie Sacknusom. A noise. There's no doubt that this map will lead us directly to the lost civilization of Atlantis. And keep that nasty Count Sacknusson from following us. You're sure this is the way, Professor? Yes. The phosphorescent tunnel. This strong phosphorus light can dissolve bones in two hours. Then we'd better get out of here. These job birth higher pay. Unfortunately, our next passage is just as dangerous. According to the map, this is Destruction Canyon. Careful. The path is getting narrower. You're telling me? There should be a bridge soon. Bridge. Civilized men built this bridge. I wonder who they were. And I wonder why it's called Doomsday Bridge. Whatever it's called, we've got to cross it because Count Sacknusom is certain to be following us. A map. My ancestor left it for me. Lindenbrook must have the rest of it. Come, Tog. We must catch them. <laughs> it's getting hot. The river, it's boiling. We must hurry across. That's sulfuric gas coming up. Alec, watch out! Help! I'm slipping! Hang on, I catch you! See, dog? 
Even without the map, Lindenbrook and his party have left a clear trail for us to follow. No telling what strange properties this gas may have. Alex, Cindy, cover your faces. Professor! Suspended animation. We must warn Cindy and Alex. The professor will be interested in... have your young friends. Shall we trade? Hm. I wait outside the tunnel near the bridge, signed Count Sackbus. Come on, Lars. We've got to get Cindy and Alec. Professor, look! <laughs> look at them, Torg. The professor will be making a poor bargain with these two. What's holding up the professor? No, like this place. Oh, 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 let's get out of here. Professor, the web, Lars. We can use! All right. Now to rescue Cindy and Alec. Oh, no! We can't cross the bridge! Hurry, Lars. No time to lose. Quick, Tom! Into this crevice! Not a word, Tog. All right, Count Sacknesson. Where are Cindy and Alec? You are ready to make a trade, then? Of course you know those two are worth more to us than this map. Where are Cindy and Alec? Not so fast, Professor. First, the map. This is trick, I think. Why should I trick you? All I want is my map. Give it to him, Lars. Now I shall gain the untold wealth of my heritage. <laughs> Not so fast, you two. Now you tell us where are Cindy and Alec. Uh, back there. Better hurry, Lars. Don't know what we might find. Yeah, I know like smile on that torch ugly face. Good grief. Look at that. Cindy and Alec! Steep like poker, by God! Suspended animation. Just like Gertrude. Look! Great Scott! That animal has been extinct for a million years. Don't look extinct right now, by God! Oh, no. Something has brought it to life. No time to lose! I should say not! Look at that! was a close call. You bet. Lucky only two of them. Only two, yes. But we've got three on our hands now. All in a state of deep, suspended animation. And no telling whether we'll ever be able to get them out of it. It was obviously one of those gases that put Cindy, Alec, and Gertrude into this terrible condition. 
Bebop to get him out. Right. However, you remember our friend Tyrannus Rex? He's no friend of mine. Poor fellow, he meant no harm. He didn't want to come out of prehistory, but it must have been another gas that brought him to life. Yeah. And if we find it... It can do the same for... Yeah, you pretty smart fella. Now you tell me how to find out which is which. Yes, that's a problem. We can't take a chance and possibly get suspended ourselves. Ha <laughs> ha, now I show you. Lars pretty smart too, eh? You watch. Stiff like iron. That been wrong gas, by golly. Lucky we didn't walk into it. Try that one. Soaked like rope. By golly, good guess, Professor. Mostly luck. But now to revive Gertrude, Cindy, and Alec. <laughs> The trail leads that way. Our next goal is the village of Stone. Come on, Tor. Once we're out of this tunnel, we shall find the village. Ah, the entrance to the village. Let's explore this place, Tor. you can move at all. I thought we'd never move a hand or a foot again. Some people never satisfied. Luckily, this soft pumice holds the footprints of Torg and the Count well. Let's follow them. I see the end of the cave. Hurry. Only a severe earthquake could have shaken this hut down. I wonder where that Count and his ugly Torg are. This place is scary. Nonsense. How could a bunch of old buildings hurt anyone? Oh. It's a message from Arnie Sacknusson. Call Professor Lindenbrook. Danger from crawling death. Obviously, the inhabitants were forced out by some great danger. I wonder what it was. Uncle Oliver! Lars! I go see what Cindy was. Volcanic rock. An earthquake! I saved you, Professor! No! Run for your lives! And we wouldn't leave the Professor behind! You bet, by golly! Watch out, Professor! Fungus! Fungus! Catch, Professor! <laughs> Thank you, Lars. You saved my life. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I charge you extra on wages you don't pay me. Now we know what happened to the poor creatures that built this village. Luckily, the fungus is on the other side of that earth crevice. Hey, the danger's not over! <laughs> That won't help, Gertrude. The fungus is made of millions of living creatures bound together in a colony. Nibbit and two and both parts are alive. Don't worry, Gertrude. I won't let the fungus get you. Uh-oh, look. We may need someone to save us all before this is over. Our friends have managed to follow us, but I'm happy to say they've come to the end of their trail. Goodbye, Professor! <laughs> Sorry you can't come along with me! The Count, we'll catch up with you yet! <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh no, it's coming right at us! Professor, <laughs> and good riddance. Come on, Tork. Professor, what do we do now? I don't know. It looks like this is the end.
Say, Lars. I say scared. No, before that. How scared, Lars? Our last minutes on Earth, and he's quibbling about words. Words are powerful things, Alec. You've saved us again, Lars. Me? Of course. Why didn't I think of it myself? Suspended animation. If it works on other living things, why not fungus? <laughs> Slow down now. No telling when that fungus will come this way. Only a little way. There's the lake. We'll soon be off this terrible island. <laughs> You've got to admit, I always keep my promises. Don't let it touch you. <laughs> Just think, dog. In a little while, we'll take a nice sail on the lake. Very nice, Count. Perhaps we can all escape from this island on your raft. Oh, no, you don't, Professor. You stay right where you are. You don't mean you'd leave us behind to perish. Torque, get the map and we shove off. Where, Matt, go. Bashir, now gone. All right, Professor. I know this is your doing. Where did you hide the map? I never touched it. I didn't even see it. I'm going to count to three, and you'd better talk before then. One. I'm surprised at you, Professor. A man of honor, I thought. You made a deal with me, and now you treacherously try to deceive me. Two. I assure you. Very well, it's your choice. I can get along without the map. But I doubt if the Lindenbrook expedition can get along without its leader. No! No, little lady. This is your uncle's finish. Stop! I hid the map. You? Where? There. Medicine. We won't take the map. After all, a bargain's a bargain. But it's very nice of you to let us read it for our next move on our journey. And very nice make a strong raft for Cross Lake. Hey, let's see, Professor, where do we go next? According to the map, we will be in the land of the fire worshippers when we cross the lake. What? Will Torg and the Count stay suspended forever? <laughs> no. I strongly suspect the next earthquake will release some of the desuspension gas that saved you and Alec. But of course, that may not happen for years and years. <laughs> well, that be soon enough for me. 